pricing program for 1950. Okay, so, gentlemen, we're off. You're off again, aren't we? Yeah. Talking about Commodores, Commodores. now, are we? Yeah. Yes, please. Well, yeah. the second Commodore, or the first... And look, when, when Chris was moved to president, yeah. Ron couldn't take up immediately the job of Commodore, as he was due to, Oh. So Horace Crispin stayed. He came in, yeah. So and Horace it, was a very early member. Then, oh yes, he? indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I never he wasn't he a starter. Early. Wasn't a starter member. No, oh no. But he no. was an early member. He was, and they yeah. did. That they had a place up in Mountview Crescent yeah. called Six C's oh. because of a six in the valley. Oh yeah. Six Crispins. Yeah. Six. That was on the corner. Wasn't it? Yeah. And their boat was down in May in Mayland. They had oh. a, a proper boat. Oh, did they? Oh. Yeah. Oh. And so he stood in for about two years, I think. Yeah. Then well, Ron came Horace in. Is 56. Yeah. Ron came yeah. in. So oh, yeah. You know, I was just thinking I had the shop in those days. Yeah. You did? Yeah. By that time. Yeah. By did. that time, they, they turned the, uh, the shop into the shop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. And yeah. thank God for that, because we had to go to Birmingham or Malden. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Horace was very good. But so was all Ron. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I mean, for yeah. instance, you've got, um, um, uh, then you've got, to, so, then Percy Douglas, yeah, but, yeah, the estate yeah, I think he was the outstanding one to me, anyway. Yeah, I, I think probably under the Percy's yes, lead, yes, the club moved up. Yeah, he did a, he did a lot. Yeah, because he yeah. was a go-getter. Yeah, he was. And yeah. he got involved with royalty and... But he, yeah, was a, yeah. he was a big man in the whatever the yeah, was in state agent, world wasn't state agent, yeah. so, and he brought in other estate agents. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a good um, sniper too. He used to travel everywhere. Oh he's yeah, sniper. yeah, yeah. And he yeah. so so I would say that the club moved on under Percy Douglas yeah, did, and yeah. became, should we say, could, could we say, established what? under Percy? Yeah, I think he probably was saved. Oh, I just think so, yeah. I think yeah, under, yeah. under Chris, it was, it ran. Yeah, I think it was more of a local man, really, wasn't yeah, it, Chris? Yes. But and Percy uh, sort of travelled everywhere. That's right, and, yeah. and had the connections. Oh, he did, yeah, yeah. So, that was, that was so when we got... Really, you, did you go on Blue Bottle? No, no. I didn't did. either. Oh, you did? Oh, no, oh, I didn't. Uh, I did, because I, I was called up at the time. So oh, I was really, really, really. So when the club went on Blue Bottle... Oh, I didn't know they... Oh, I didn't know that. Twice. Oh, did they? went twice. So that was that was under Percy. Yeah. Then George Miles. George Miles, yeah. And under George Miles, the club was pretty established, and George ran it very well. Oh yeah, he did. And, yeah. And but but was no go getter. No, no major stuff, was it? No. No, but no. I mean, it, as far as that was concerned, it, it established itself again under oh, George yeah. Miles. But everybody, uh, every then, Commodore was pretty good though, oh, wasn't yeah, they? Yeah. I mean, yeah. no, nobody was Commodore of the club that hadn't deserved it. No, oh, no, no, I mean, no. even you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad we said that. Thank you, Richard. I'll pay the later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, had, you had two years, didn't you? Yeah, I had three. Oh, three, three years. Three years. Oh, because oh, no, under, cool. under um, Harry, Harry yeah. decided that four years was too long, yeah, and wrong, he reduced it to three. Oh, yeah. So we reduced That's it from four to three. Years, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's and three years is long. When, when you consider, when you've done three years, you've done twelve. Yeah. You've been on the committee for three or four. Yeah. You've been um, a flag vice, officer, yeah, or vice, flag vice or rear, rear yeah. vice, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've done twelve yeah. years. Yeah. All, yeah. All the so yeah. in a, by the time. You've got to the Commodore ship, yeah. you've done a hell of a long time. Oh, you have, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you do know what goes on. The only trouble is, as the young people come in, they want to run it their way. You <laughs> get out of the way, you young kid. <laughs> so they go. So that's that. Then, then, then Mr. Pater comes in. Oh, yeah, he's, he's he's a didn't do a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not no, a bad job. No, no, it's very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, well, then we had. Rod Hill was put in last very long. Yeah, I didn't think much of him. No, well, I don't. See, Rod volunteered himself, and he wasn't. He, he wasn't really no, leadership to him at all. No, no. Rod, Rod was would fly, fly off the handle. Yeah. And it, yeah. he would be, you do this because. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so yeah. 
And so he, he, he packed it in. Um, yeah, who followed Ron? Then followed Jeff Kimper. Oh, he was very good. Jeff, yeah. Jeff Kimper. You see Jeff yeah. Kimper, a businessman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He made the, the gates out the front, yeah, the yeah. fencing, yeah. and so on and so forth. He him. then, he, in fact, it was Jeff during his time that the, did the boat shed. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, during yeah. Jeff's yeah. time, they built the boat shed. So, oh, that, no, so Jeff Kimber did uh, quite a bit. Yeah. I've forgotten who it was who did the trains. Um, who built the clubhouse? The, the room where Sidney Percy Dabbers. What? Percy yeah. Dabbers. Yeah. What? Well, I remember this being very different in the 80s. Yeah, who did the. Um, we had the flat roof as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, well, we put the top onto the, on the flat roof. Percy Dabbers. Oh, what's Percy That was a Wernix in. Wickford. Oh, yes, yeah. Percy Dad was being the oh, estate yes. He got the planning permission mm. and Wernix built this cedar wood building, yeah, which we had on the top. top. The clubhouse here, downstairs, was here. This bit we're in now was here, left, after the Navy. Well, no, it's a. Or was it, it was flat was this and that, wasn't it? Was it to start with, it was a Nissan hut, was it? Yeah, yeah, when the Navy left, it was a Nissan hut. Right. So, so the Nissan hut must have been pulled down. I, it, can't, I can't remember so that. When but the, then this is uh, well, when they came and cleared all the hard, that the the cutters up as they yeah. took them away, they must have cut up this Nissan hut. Yeah, it must and have they left done, us yeah. with the flat base. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's a photograph somewhere of them outside the building. At, uh, they built one. Bit here, yeah, oh yes, yeah. which was the clubhouse. Yeah. But yeah. that and that was allowed to be. I think that might well have been built with the permission and probably by George. What's his name? What was well, it? Chance. No, no, George. The, the Miles. Miles. George, George Miles. No, no, no. They, they, see what happened was that when the club started, there was absolutely nowhere, and Mr. Minter knew this, where we could launch a boat other than the slipway. And Mr. Minter said he owned it, or well, nobody knew who owned it. Well, you meant the slipway down there, Yeah, did you? down there. Yeah, by, by yeah. By. So therefore, the boats were, were then supposed so, to be launched down his slipway. Yeah, well, we used to bring them up there, I remember. Yeah, them, uh, bring them up there, because it was yeah, steam. Yeah. Anyway, what happened was George. God, it's, it's, it's in the book here. Oh. Um, well, what do you mean? Who did? Uh, yeah, the no. What, what happened building. was, what happened was, when everything down here was derequisitioned in 1947. Yeah, 47 or something like that. Yeah. The cottages were derequisitioned yeah. from the prisoner of war camp. Uh, and this naval station, which was known as a fleet requirements unit, oh, was it? Oh. it was it was built as it's, it's known as an embarkation site. Yeah, oh, it was. Yeah, number yeah. M something or other, yeah. M three or something yeah, like that. Yeah, the, the one down, here, didn't it? Yeah, the one say. down the stand here yeah. is M two. A little jetty up there. That's right. Yeah. The key <laughs> uh, or, or, or the pier. <laughs> And that was all taken down by the people who took away the mulberry harvest. Oh, yeah, and so on. Yeah, that took a long time. Um, and as this was being cleared, we came to an agreement with Mr. George Gardner, something like that. Um, oh, he owned this bit. He, he bought this bit from the government oh, and he bought he? the cottages. Oh, so, yes, he did. He bought the cottages for. For five, for the whole lot for five grand. <laughs> I suppose in those the, days it's quite a bit. And, and then he sold off the cottages to the people in the cottages if they wanted to buy them. So the Youngs bought theirs, the Moody's bought theirs, the Bakers bought theirs, yeah. and that left number two, number three, number four, and then there was Bronwyn Cook in number yeah, five, yeah. and a mother. And in number six there was Stanley uh, Stanley Thomas. Oh, was he? Oh. He was in number six. Was he? Yeah, oh. Stanley Thomas. Um, <laughs> number seven was bought by the Youngs, and number eight was bought by the Youngs, and number nine was bought by the Moody's. Oh, yeah, so. 
So there were about three that were rented. Mm. Oh, I don't know if they were rented to start with. Yeah, yeah. yes, they were rented. They rented yeah. right from 1926. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we we uh, rented it as a family from 1926, and we paid through the war yeah. Yeah. to ensure that we got it back yeah. again afterwards. It was only ten shillings a month, but. Uh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> when did you buy a Blackthorn? Which is where this club sits, isn't it? On the Blackthorn well, that, Road. Ah, well, that comes later. And that comes, it comes, it's in the book here, and really quite honestly, we should... Mid-50s? Well, later than that. Well, the we late in that we the 60s? Well, what happened was that... We bought this in land. The, we bought this land. Yeah, in the, we yeah. bought this land, which included... I know, it's all, when I came out of the army... When did you come uh, out of the army? In 55. Right. December 55. In 56 I started the shop. And that was all the club club right. ground then. So we must no, have bought it. In, must have been 54 we, or 55. Yeah, must have bought it during the time I was in the navy. Yeah, but 54, yeah. 55. 50, yeah. 53, 54, 55. Yeah. So I know we used to keep the snipes on the front out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we rented it. Don't know we we rented it from Mr. Wheeler, Wheeler was it? Wheeler, Wheeler, yeah, George Wheeler. Wheeler. Yeah, Wheeler's. We rented it from Mr. Wheeler. Um, <clears throat> in order that we could put the boats on the hard yeah, so that yeah. we didn't have to launch them down the ramp and Mr Minter would then nose out to join it. Um, so Mr Minter then lost out that way because he then turned around and said he owned the seawall and then we in the cottages had to prove that we owned half of the seawall. And that caused well, did, a bit, did you prove that? Yeah we did. You did? It's it's not, not, it's it. not yeah. this on the deeds but the law says that if your land goes down to the sea, yeah. wall. you own half of the sea wall, your side, oh, yeah. and the river wall owns the other half. So, yeah, so Mr. Minton didn't own it up here. And Mr. Minton got miffed after a while. Yeah. And, yeah, so the club must have bought this land, yeah, 55. Well, what happened was. 54, 55. Now, this <clears> is June, yes, so, so in other words, this is when I'm back. And yeah. what happens is that. There's meat, and there's meat, it's in here in the book. I can tell you the whole story. We spoke out when we did buy it. Well, I, I, yeah. it, I think we've got, it, got that in it print. It's really yeah. about capturing your memories of what life was yeah. really yeah. like then. You can say by I, 50, I, think, by I, I think in the bit that I've done, it anyway. yeah. it's in the bit yes, that I've done. Yeah. So yeah. really the buying of the place is recorded yes. in the bit that I've done. Yes. And we bought, well, after renting it for a while, and the platform was used as the ladies' changing room, and the men's were in this bit at the centre. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they had to go home to wash and shower. And yeah. Were, and there well, was I remember no starting from the blockhouse. Started from the blockhouse. Yeah. When, when did we stop using that? I think as, soon as, we, as soon as we got this, this place, built. Yeah, yeah. As soon as we got this built. Now, I've got a feeling, I don't remember this being built, so it has to be. Built no, okay. between 1950 and 1953. Yeah. I don't remember this being built. No, this, no, the bottom part, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't at all. No. When did the top half go on? The upper um, deck? It's recorded. Mm -hmm. Be in the 60s, would it? Late 80s? Somewhere around that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And yeah. I think Percy Douglas has day. It was, it was 60 or 68, 63 to 68. Sounds to me like we owe a great debt to Percy Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Well, Percy yeah. did a hell of a lot. Yeah, he did a lot. Yeah. A hell of a lot. Yeah. Um, and, and he ran the club quite officially. Um, mm. um, Percy Douglas was known as Mr. Douglas. Um, certainly by me, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and, and he was the leader. And um, uh, and he and his wife Hilda, Hilda, yeah, Hilda right. were what you might call people who stood by and let walk past you on the sea wall. Touched your foot a lot. Didn't oh you? yeah, indeed, very much so. <laughs> it was a stand to attention job. <laughs> yeah, no, they're very nice couple. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. And then of course the club. Then we had running on through the Commodores. They were commodores that became part of the club yeah. as youngsters. They generally started yeah, off as being sailing yeah. secretary yeah. and then rear commodore. Yeah. Uh, if, if, 
back in the 60s, if you were became saving secretary, you were expected to become a rear commandant or flag officer. Oh, well, yeah, no. That, that was it. That, that was the sort of thing. That, that was the that was have, the have a secretary, though, were you? No, 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 it wasn't, no. Oh, I jumped the queue. Yeah, he pushed right in. No, I, I think, um, yes, you, Stan Atkins did. First he died as a saving secretary in the Commodore, then Stan Atkins as a saving secretary, and Don Harris did treasurer. Oh, yes, yeah, that was it. Don Harris did treasurer, so that was another room. room. Yeah. And then Brian Crispin. I don't think Brian, oh, he did, did he did, <coughs> he did saving secretary, Richard Barnes did saving secretary, oh, yeah, yeah. See, Richard Barnes, yeah. Richard Barnes, I always remember Richard Barnes, because saving secretaries generally didn't say, uh -oh. they were administrative, yeah. and so you tend, you were supposed to give up your saving if you became saving secretary, oh, yeah. and Richard Barnes oh. said, I am not giving up my sailing, sailing. I, I am a sailor and I will sail yeah. and I will be out on the water. If anything happens, I'll have to wait until it comes till I come back. <laughs> so that was no, Richard Barnes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then, then after that, Derek Sandler. Now Derek did a lot for the club as well. Derek virtually did the rebuilding of downstairs. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's Derek that is responsible for this bar um, being here uh, and the galley being out the back oh, yeah, and uh, being decorated and turned into a much ni nicer place. Yeah. And Derek Sandler did, did that and it's developed from there. And Derek Sandler had the original floor put down and now we've got this better, this other yeah, floor yeah. down as well. Yeah, uh, so, so Derek did a, a lot too, yeah. and also Derek, being a silversmith, dental yeah. mechanic silversmith, produced the cadet trophy, mm -hmm. the silver tr oh, yeah, the cadet did, trophy, yeah, didn't yeah, they? Cool, and two or three other trophies. So Derek did a lot. Um, then on from Derek Sandal, we had Dave Wood. Yes. And Dave Wood was the uh, 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 oculist, um, and he did he did a lot as well. In fact, every, yeah, everybody everybody's did, done this year. Yeah. Everybody's done this year, right away. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. have done more because it was needed at the yeah. time. Well, in the early days, in the, in the early days, days, there was a lot, lot. Every commodore did some. I think it was George Miles who used to say. I was responsible for the drains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think it was well, George Miles well, who was responsible. very important. Yeah, that, that that the drains. Drains. Well, yeah. well, just a minute. So George Miles was 68, 72. Yes. Because yeah. the, the drains came yeah. in about 1970. That's what they did, yeah. yeah. And then we were yeah. put on main like drainage. Main drainage. Mm -hmm. so, so we didn't have the cesspool anymore, which is still out there. Yeah, yeah. Probably full of you know what. Um, <laughs> I think on that cheerful note, gentlemen, I'm going to draw this one to a close. Yeah. That's been brilliant. Thank you both so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see. Uh, oh yeah.